You've put together your manuscript, and maybe you're even sending it out to publishers or contests, but you might also just want to make a book, your own little book for yourself or for a friend, or you might still be revising poems and want something that's less bulky to carry around with you on the bus. I'm Joni Stanglin, and I'm back at Richard Hugo House in Seattle, and I want to show you how to make a booklet. Let's take a look. I'm going to start with the manuscript file that I created earlier, and first I'm going to save it with a different file name. So I'll point to Save As, and I'll click Word document, and I'll call it Booklet, and I'll click Save. Now I want to come up and click the Page Layout tab, and click the Page Setup dialog box launcher. And where it says Multiple Pages here, I want to click Book Fold. I also want to change my margins so that they're smaller and I have more room for the words on my pages. So I'm going to change them to a half an inch. And where it says gutter, I also want to add about a quarter of an inch just so that down here, this is the gutter, my words don't get lost in the fold. Next, I'll click the Layout tab, and because I have these facing pages, I'm going to click Different, Odd, and Even. I'll click OK. I'm going to delete this. And next, I will scroll down. And I don't need this header here, because it's kind of cramping things. I'll delete that, and I'll delete it from the next section, too. I'll close the header and footer, and we can see where my table of contents is running off the page. So I'm going to click here, and click the References tab, click Update Table. I'm going to click to update the entire table. And now what I want to do is I want to scroll down, see how the rest of this is looking. There's page one. I'm not going to need this little number, because if I have several blank pages, it will look funny to have page numbers on them. So I've just double-clicked in the footer area and selected it, and I'll press Delete. And then I also want to add page numbers to my even pages, because remember, they're different now from my odd pages. So I'm going to click in this even page footer section and click Page Number bottom of page, and I want it on the left side now, so I'll click plane number one, and so that it matches, I'll select it, click the Home tab, and click I for italic. Now I'll close the header and footer, and you can see that we have our title page, our table of contents, and our poems. We can do a print preview. And that's what page four will look like. We can also print it. And when you print it, if your printer supports double-sided printing, then check the properties to make sure it's flipping on the right edge. Otherwise, if your printer doesn't support double printing, you can select the manual duplex checkbox. And what that means is that you'll run all the pages through, it'll just print one side, and then it'll stop, and you'll be able to just pick up the stack and put it back in the printer so that the blank page is facing up, and run it through again. Now, if you plan to print a lot of copies, it might be more cost-effective to go to a copy shop, and it's good to check with them first to find out what format they need. If they need PDF, Word has an add-in that you can install. You install it the first time you use it. You point to Save As, you can click PDF or XPS, and there you have PDF file. All you have to do is click Publish, and you have your PDF file to take into the copy shop. And now, you have your booklet. And that's how you make a little book. Now it's time to keep writing.